The University of Nebraska-Lincoln has held several human lectures at both UNL's East Campus and on Innovation Campus. The purpose of this lecture series is to engage in discussions that focus on providing security in the areas of food, natural resources, and renewable energy for citizens of the world. Earlier this year, several NASA delegates were on hand to discuss how NASA satellites and science serve to support food and water security. Market Journal's Bill Dodd caught up with the team during one of their tours. The Hearman Lecture Series focuses on providing security. That means global security in the areas of food, natural resources, and renewable energy for people. And that all starts with securing the sustainability of rural communities where the vital work of producing food and renewable energy occurs. The latest installment of the lecture series focuses on the utilization of data gathered from NASA satellites and science to support food and water security here on Earth. Yeah, several groups on campus have been users of NASA data uh, for decades now, you know, myself included for 25 plus years, uh, particularly in regards to monitoring drought, but also looking at agricultural landscapes, ecosystems, and the influence of climate and climate change on these landscapes is pretty critical. So NASA data, it's big data. It can go from a really fine resolution to a really coarse resolution, so we can cover a lot of scales. And uh, it, it, comes into ha it comes real handy, not just for research applications, but also for operational applications like the U.S. Drought Monitor, which is the weekly map that we host here at uh, the National Drought Mitigation Center at the university. So that's one potential uh, use. The other way, if you flip it around, though, is that, uh, you know, the university, the research farms, the producers, we all have the ability, this is a living laboratory here where we can actually validate and ground truth the NASA data and models. Does it match reality on the ground? These are important linkages, I think, that we can offer up back to NASA. So it's definitely a two-way street. Well, I was uh, an assistant professor. Keynote speaker of the event, Dr. Karen St. Germain, is the director of NASA's Earth Science Division. However, before entering her role at NASA, she was a faculty member here at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. The experiences she had at UNL gave her a unique perspective when it came to the challenges that she's facing in her current position. My faculty position at the University of Nebraska was my first job out of graduate school. I grew up in the Northeast. So my years here in, in Lincoln, and, uh, and I did travel a bit around the state and the region, that, that was my first time seeing this kind of landscape, this kind of agriculture. Um, and. And I've been thinking about this problem of bringing remote sensing and that unique vantage point of space to food security and agriculture ever since those days. And it's just a thrill that, to be able to get back here and meet with people and discuss uh, a, a path forward together. Nice to meet you. During their visit to Lincoln, the Earth Science team was able to tour local agricultural operations as well as get a firsthand look at the research happening here at UNL. When it comes to transforming hard data into real-world applications, developing working relationships with university researchers is an incredibly valuable asset. Well, NASA is a science agency and a data agency. And uh, we use our scientific understanding of the Earth as a system and the data we collect from our, uh, our assets in space to support a whole range of applications, and agriculture is one of the most important of those. It's really important to get feedback from the people who are trying to use our data and information. It's, uh, you know, we, we, we do a lot of work to try to make, uh, to translate data into actionable information, but it's really only by talking with people who are trying to use that information that we learn where did we get it right, where did we not get it right, and where do we need to do more research, maybe to solve uh, a problem we didn't even know we had? You know, there's, there's a wealth of technical expertise at the University of Nebraska and, and universities around the country, and no one is closer to the producers in those states than the, the people at the universities who are, are doing the research. So we like to work with extension programs, universities, regional uh, facilities, to take the work that we do at a global level and, and help us make it most impactful at, at the local level. Thanks so much, Brad. The only thing I would... Uh... While the latest Yearman lecture is an informative insight into how NASA data is collected, analyzed, and transformed into real-world applications, 
There is one take-home message Dr. St. Germain hopes sticks with the viewers and attendees. Similar topic. I would like the big take-home message to be that NASA has a lot of uh, information, data, uh, and, and research and applications that we think could be useful to uh, producers in Nebraska and around the country. And, uh, and we'd like to, to share that information and the, that insight, but also get the feedback on what they really need so that as we're building the, the satellites and the sensors that will we'll launch toward the end of this decade, that we're actually building the right things. As Mother Nature continues to change and evolve, producers and researchers must follow suit. As long as our producers, universities, and government agencies can continue to collaborate, future technologies stemming from today's research will be out of this world. Reporting for Market Journal, I'm Bill Dodd.